Hi guys, I wanted to show you this really new cool device that I discovered from my Triton Pro X. This keyboard is about 20 years old and the only media that you could use would be a floppy drive that was over here. And I actually replaced that floppy drive with a USB drive. So that helps me store information better, but better than that, this keyboard has a SCSI drive back here. Let me see if you can get a picture of that. You see that there? And with this device here, this is called a SCSI to SD. What this does is, it's a little board. It's got a 25 dB male SCSI connector on one side. And on the other side, it's got a little port for a 5 volt external power, which for this keyboard you don't need. The SCSI on the cord will power this up just fine. But in here, you see a tiny 16 gigabyte SD card that I bought at Walmart. It's The brand is On, O-N-N. -N. It was 8 or $9 and it works great. So what I will do with this device is plug it into the SCSI. And once I plug it into the SCSI port, it then allows me to save all the information that I need directly onto that SD card. And the software that comes with it, it's free software, it's actually shareware. And this is ver version 5.5. What I can do with that is partition that SD card into four separate partitions that the Korg will see as four separate SCSI drives with their individual SCSI ID numbers. Now, Korg, the Triton, will format up to four gigabytes. For whatever reason, it did not like when I assigned each SCSI to four gigabytes. So I made each one two gigabytes. And I'll plug this in in a second and show you guys how it works. The SCSI to SD is now plugged into the SCSI drive on the back of the Pro X there. And all I'm going to do is turn the keyboard on. And once I turn it on, it will identify, see that there? It says EXP SCSI. So that's recognizing the drive. So the keyboard is booted. We'll select disk. And in here, I'll zoom in. You see it says Flop Triton. That is the floppy drive emulator that is actually a USB. It says SCSI Triton. That's the first hard drive that it is reading as, as an external drive and then it says two SCSI Triton and that's the second one. So instead of making four partitions I made two and on here if I select the first one you will see I'll select open And there you will see it has a standard MIDI file that I saved to it, a sequence, which is a .sng file, the .ksc, which is audio that I sampled into it. And if I open this file here, you see that it has more sampling data there and a multi-sample multi that I saved there. Just wanted to make this quick video because I've seen a lot of SCSI to Compact Flash. I haven't seen one SCSI to SD that is an external one like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. So I wanted to show you the utility that you can download off the internet for free to flash a SCSI to SD. So device one, you want to select enable SCSI target and it will allow you to create up to four partitions. So you see it says your device one, two, and three. And you want the device type to be a hard drive. Now you can also set it up as a removable CD-ROM, three and a half floppy, whatever you, you want. In this case, we're gonna select hard drive. Quirks will be none. SD card start sector will be zero because this will be the first drive. And over here, for the Triton Pro X, you can change this 
to any gig that you want, but for whatever reason, it likes two gigabytes. When you go to partition the second drive, select device two. Real important that you select enable SCSI target here. And you will see that automatically, you check auto here. It will take this number here, which is the SD card start sector number, and automatically set it to the next one here after the sector count. So if you were to do that for device three, enable SCSI, click auto, and you're gonna see that number change. So everything is working great. And the SCSI ID number here, you can change that to anything you want. But if you duplicate it, the utility will tell you that it's been duplicated.